Police are trying to find the person who broke into businesses in a number of local towns overnight. The burglaries happened in Avon, Simsbury, and Canton, and police think that they may have been pulled off by the same suspect. News 8's Bob Wilson live in Canton tonight with more on the investigation. Bob. It has been a long day for business owners along Route 44 here. Can Avon Simsbury, somebody came through, just smashed out their windows, took their everything from laptop computers to cash out of their stores. They've been sweeping up glass. And you can just actually follow the path of the uh, suspect, they believe, because it happened somewhere around the middle of the night, somewhere around 2, 2.30. That's when the calls started coming in to business owners. As you can see here, the window smashed out in this beauty parlor right here. Next door, the nail salon hit and that is what it's been like all up and down 44 as businesses have been hit one after the other from hair salon to nail places to pizza places and uh, they have been cleaning up the glass trying to put their shops together some of them coming in late today not even knowing they got hit overnight to find a mess in their shop we didn't even know that when we were here uh, in the middle of the night but um, they had gone out I think through the back door and gone in her back entrance so Anyway, she was a little alarmed when she got into work today, too, because we didn't even know it when we were here. So. Yeah, and they went through and tried. I mean, they pulled all the drawers out, and they kind of were searching for money, obviously. And there was not much money to get in that shop. Some of the shops did have money on hand. But police tonight are working together. We've talked to Avon, and they're coordinating with Simsbury, as well as Canton Police. They're trying to put this all together. They do say there's an older kind of a beat-up truck, pickup truck, they believe might be the suspect vehicle right now, but they are still working on this. They do have several good leads. They don't want to talk too much about the case because they say they may be close to making an arrest. However, they're going to continue to work this through the night and over the weekend, hoping to find the person responsible. I'm Bob Wilson reporting live in Canton, News 8.